Okay, do another video. This is for Larry. A friend, this is for you. I usually do a video for, uh, try to do one for everybody I do a baiting job for. That's what they're paying for, is a good baiting job with uh, zero stress, and I like to prove the work. Uh, so I may post this video, I may not, I don't know. Uh, it's primarily uh, for Larry. If I do post it, I uh, uh, probably won't leave it very long. The fact is, there's so many of this type of videos that I've got on there that you know people get bored with the same thing. So same old, same old. If, that's, uh, if you're looking for anything different, then uh, you, can, uh, you can shut her down now, save you some time. Thousandths of an inch indicator. Got her zeroed out. There's our movement right there. There's our movement flexing the other way. Uh, thousands of an inch indicator. Each one of the marks on there is a thousand. So uh, there's, that would be one, two, three, four, five right there. Uh, to give you an idea of that. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break this, uh, I'm gonna break this front uh, action screw loose. Okay, now, as I like to call them, there's a little bit of pudding for you. Call it a pudding test. Screw is out. Uh, let's see, I'm going to try this. Let me focus that and zoom it in. I think you can see that indicator there. She's on zero, all right. I'm going to uh, phase it back to the regular here for you. And uh, now we're going to put the screw back in there, retorque it, and uh, show you. Anyway, let's see. Put that in there. And let me go ahead and get a little bit of tension on it. The thousands of an inch indicator, just to give you a, an idea for some of you guys. Uh, we may have covered it before, but... Thousands of an inch indicator, the average human head, uh, head, <laughs> the average human hair is about one thousandths to th two thousandths thick. Uh, I hope your head's a little thicker than that. You know, some people I wonder, let's just not go there. <laughs> oh, have some fun while we're doing it. Anyway, you get the gist. The average hair is about one to two thousandths thick, so it's showing you how sensitive that is. Uh, if I bump that indicator across a, a string of your hair, it would move that thing one of them into one of them marks. Here's our uh, here's our torque wrench zeroed out, and we're gonna put this puppy in here. Use our old trusty mirror that we haven't broken yet. And we're going to bring it up and let's see, there's 25, there's about 28 right there. You take that puppy back out. Okay, if you can see that, there's your 28. We're still on zero. I'll zoom this thing in for you here. Might get a little bouncing. All right, there you go. We're still on zero. I'll flex it with my hand. There you see it moving. Still on zero. All right, now let me take it back out so you can watch what we're doing again. And uh, like I said, now we're just going to verify again. I'm going to go ahead and just pull this thing back out. Uh, those indicators, they're, uh, that thousands of an inch, it's so sensitive. Just the vibration and bumping it around, you'll get movement. But there's our indicator back out again. Our screw's completely out. I'll zoom you in one more time. There's your indicator. Okay, I think you can see that. So anyway, uh, this particular rifle, uh, the reason it's in here is it was bed without pillars. Uh, to my understanding, it was uh, basically it was an experiment. Bed it without pillars. Uh, traditional bedding in there from front to back, just like normal. But uh, it, was, it was a test to see what would happen. So anyway, not saying that's good or bad. Don't have enough experience in it to uh, make a judgment, that's for sure. All I can say is it was bad on this particular instance because it didn't hold up. I'm sure it was tested. I'm sure it was tested at the time it was done, but uh, today, when we tested it, 
when uh, when the customer brought it in, we tested it. had a solid seven thousandths worth of movement, which is by far, uh, you know, out of the ballpark. So anyway, uh, we put two uh, two aluminum pillars in here. Done a new skim coat. Done it. We'll zoom in one more time after we torqued it back in. There's your indicator. All right, let's phase her back. So anyway, uh, Grim Reaper. There you have it. So we won't belay it any longer there. Everything turned out perfect. Um, I may go ahead and post this just due to the fact I think some of the other ones I always try to get where you can see uh, my hand movements and, and torquing it and get the proof here, all this in the same shot. But uh, it's hard to do that. And I kind of figured out where to put my camera so I can reach right here with my hand and zoom it in. Some of the other ones don't really show that because from a distance back, that indicator is kind of hard to see the fine part of it. I know on the film of the camera when I'm watching it, I can zoom it in and watch it, but I don't. Uh, I don't guess you can do that on on YouTube for sure. So anyway, we got an excellent bedding and uh, appreciate you guys. Appreciate you watching and uh, y'all take care. Be safe. We'll catch you at the next match.